Hello everyone and welcome to Papyrus Motorsport Raceway Park. And uh, this is round number four of the MFN SRA Late Model Championship. Uh, so far the series has been going really well. Three very exciting races with three different winners. And uh, now we come to this super speedway slash road course for round number four. So hopefully we have another great show from these 38 drivers today. On the poles, the 85 car, one of the drivers that's doing very well so far, Mark Edwards. He starts next to Ryan Acosta, no, Dylan Young in the 27. On row two is Brian Acosta in the 36. Next to Theo Stiegel in the 57. And uh, now we'll see the rest of your starting lineup here from Papyrus. All right, 20 seconds till green here, and uh, there. Uh, the points leader coming in now is Luke Walker. We'll check on him after the command. We'll see where he starts. You can actually kind of see him right there. And uh, four, three, two, one, and out of the car will fire. Drivers, start your engines. All right. Um, there's your Rockingham winner. Diego Espino that catapulted him from 30th to 16th in the standings in that number 17 as the cars get going. Luke Walker, like we said, the points leader coming into today's race. There he is, starts deep in the field in that in that dodge, pretty deep, not that bad. And uh, so far there, um, this is actually after the Phoenix race before Rockingham. Jarrett Stymist, uh, Michael Walton, Colin Wales, Austin Ogilcard, Keselowski, Mark Edwards, and uh, Cole Fralick all have warnings coming into this race for commenting things. So, uh, but that's before Rockingham, so yeah, here we go. Green flag will be out, and we are racing here from Papyrus. Here they go down to turn one and Ryan Acosta all over Mark Edwards. Here's they come off of turn number one. Tell you what, this is where the crash is going to happen. We're coming up to it right here. Nicholas Guerra fans out. Look at this. Three wide and this is the toughest corner, the right hander here at Papyrus. Oh, Stephen Kimball up into Charles Jackson and a big crash into the outside wall. There's the points leader, Luke Martin. Another crash there. That's Hayden Klein. Another crash for Hayden Klein. Adam Smith. There's Corey Williams, Timmy Pacioli, Luke Martin. There's Zach Austin. Tyler Everest cannot catch a break, and I think this car went upside down. I see roof damage on this number 23. He cannot catch a break. Leader coming to the caution will be Mark Edwards, followed by Aaron Williams. Looks like Brian Acosta, Dylan Young, and Chris Summers. Hayden Klein can't catch a break, break either in that number 39. Let's see what happened. Okay, so we're going to go in the slow-mo. This is the toughest corner on the track. Looks like Charles Jackson washed up into Stephen Kimball. The Daytona winner, Kimball, comes in fifth in the points. Corey Williams right there in the four car. Got some heavy damage. There's Adam Smith. There's Pacioli. There's a, there's a Cole Fralick. 
I think that's Jake Smith. He got he he's in another crash in this one. I think that's Jake Smith's number twenty. Yeah, that's him right there. Now twenty three car. Oh, I have to Everest here. Last in the points, finish last at Rockingham. Cannot catch a break. Didn't look like he actually made that much contact. Well, there's... Oh, Sky Commons in the outside wall hard. Tell you what, I saw this guy make a pretty nice avoidance of this one. On the outside, in last, Evan Gattuso. Has to make a hard right to avoid it, but he does. And gets right through. So Evan Gattuso does a nice job avoiding that one. So yeah, tough tough break for a lot of drivers in this one. Let's ride on board with Adam Smith, who was one of the drivers involved here. In the number 22, Adam Smith actually comes in 18th in the points. That's just tough break right there. I think it might have been Galligan that got in the back of CJ, if I saw correctly while we were watching Everest. And, uh, let's see who can ride on board with here. Right on board with Jake Smith, who is involved in another crash. Next, we'll grab the points leader. Man, that's a hard hit there into the outside wall. Yeah, this is a ton of damage to the points leader's number two. Right on board with him right here. Wow, hard in the back of a. Uh, it was a black car, I couldn't tell who it was. It might have been Jackson. No, it was Tyler Everest. It was Everest, 23. So yeah, the points leader, oh, and he hits Stephen Kimball there, gets some more damage, so. The points leader may be out of the race early. Let's go back green. All right, uh, as you can see here, six cars out of the race. Sky Commons, I saw him go up into the outside wall, but I, didn't think he made much contact. Same thing with Zach Austin. Didn't think he made much contact, but those two are out of the race uh, early on here. Adam Smith, there's Everest. Can't catch a break. Neither can Hayden Klein. Cole Fralick will finish dead last. So, yeah. Mark Edwards comes in third in the points in that unsponsored number 85. As he will bring them down to the green flag. Once again, here we go. Here comes Ryan Acosta in the 36th, who actually comes in 7th in the points. So, a uh, good start to the season for Ryan Acosta. There's the second place uh, car, 41 of Nicholas Guerra. Uh, doing a nice job so far, but um, Mark Edwards, who comes in only a point behind him, has passed him in the points. Luke Walker is still in the race. There he is. He's back here in the 29th position. So now Acosta trying to run down Mark Edwards. Dylan Young and Aaron Williams are battling for third. Behind them in fifth is Chris Summers. Look at this pack, though. Oh, Galligan's got a lot of damage. All of a sudden, Sean Galligan, look at that car. I didn't see all the damage on that number 38. I don't know if anything happened. It doesn't look like it. Two leaders have pulled away quite a bit. Oh, boy. Jeez, that was close. They were four wide through there. Michael Walton Spark uh, made a smart move in the 26. Avoided that. Now they're four wide again as Finn Guy tries to go four wide under Columbia. Finn Guy, the Phoenix winner in that number 92. There's Columbia into the outside wall now. Oh.
Oh, we have a new leader. Oh, wow. Ryan Acosta. Dylan Young. Aaron Williams. Mark Edwards. And Chris Summers. Austin Ogo. Ospina having another good run. Brandon Bain. Zachary Brown. And Jeffrey Howe. The top ten. Looks like this pack may have settled down. So far, an entertaining race. Lots of good racing all around. Nicholas Guerra's dropped back quite a bit. And after the run that Karta Keselowski had at Rockingham, dominated that race, uh, led a lot of laps, was up front. Oh, and then the outside wall goes Guerra! With Fingai. Oh, and there's Luke Martin. Fingai around... Oh, jeez. Luke Martin's in the pits. Jeez, and Jarrett Stymist in the double zero sitting in the middle of the track. And there is the second place points man, the 41 of Guerra. Let's see what happened. I'm not too sure how this happened. It happened right in front of the guy we were talking about, Carter Keselowski right here, who comes in fourth in the points. Stymus turns Fingai into Guerra. That's a hard hit in the out in the outside wall there for Nicholas Guerra. Evan Gattuso right there in the in the 97 car made some contact. That double zero car is destroyed. Jeez! Oh, Luke Martin, nowhere to go. Timmy Pacioli just missed it. No, that's Randy Carpenter actually that just missed it. There's Timmy. Scary crash for a car double zero. Let's ride on board with him. Got the back of Finn guy and started it. Jeez, that's a big hit right there. Then we do something then, Luke Martin. Guerra's car was turned backwards in this red in this wreck. This is just getting caught blindsided in this one, Nicholas Guerra. Wow. Tough break for car 41, 92, and double zero, but, uh, and 77 also. Luke Martin got caught in that wreck. Martin actually came into this race ninth in the points. Then let's go back green. All right. Uh, now out of the race, Stephen Kimball could not maintain minimum speed. They've asked him to park, so Kimball's out. Uh, Nicholas Guerra's out. Jarrett Stimes, Luke Martin are all out of the race. So Ryan Acosta, the leader. This could be a really big race for that 36 team. Like we said, they came in 7th in the standings, and Stephen Kimball's out of the race, Luke Walker's slow, Nicholas Guerra's out of the race. CJ was involved in a wreck. So, really the only thing that might keep him from the points lead is the 85 car of Mark Edwards. Dylan Young having a good run also. He hasn't had a great start to the season. Neither is Aaron Williams, but he did finish 5th at Rockingham. And there's Chris Summers in that number 42. Also not off to a great start. And this is the Rockingham winner, Diego Espino. He's right there. The season four HI, uh, no. CCS champion. So, yeah. We could have a big point shake up here uh, with Luke Walker slow and some of the guys at the top having problems. But uh, Ryan Acosta will bring him back down to the green flag and we are now halfway through today's race. And look at Mark Edwards taking him three wide. Aaron Williams took uh, Dylan Young double wide. Mark Edwards with Chris Summers, Austin Ogo, and, D and Ospina took him three wide. And he's going to go right to the lead in that number 85. Three wide there, and that is Ospina in that 17. He's going to get caught on the outside here. In the right-hander. Ooh, look at that right there. Jeez, and there's Theo Steele in the outside wall. There, uh, where is he? There's James Silverfox, who w went upside down and lost the points lead. In fact, he dropped from 1st to 11th after Rockingham. Some slower cars trying to get in the mix there. Uh, back here. 
That, there's Pacioli's number 98, Randy Carpenter in the 66. Here they come off a four. The top three have pulled away a little bit. Mark Edwards, Ryan Acosta, and Austin Ogo. Seth Carlisle has had has run well in the three races, but has been turned around in all three. Uh, Carlisle here in the 50 car. Actually, never mind. I don't think he got turned to Daytona. I think he finished fourth there. So Acosta, followed by Mark Edwards and Austin Ogo, and here comes Dylan Young. Ogo in the outside wall. Dylan Young almost makes contact. Now he's going to try to pass him here with Aaron Williams right behind. And yes, Dylan Young will pass Ogo. Man, Aaron Williams came pretty close there. Look, now look at that 29. He's got some pretty heavy left side damage now. Almost looks like there's right side damage on that 29. Ogo has not gotten off to a good start in that uh, 29. Here they come down the front stretch. Zachary Brown uh, came in to Rockingham last in the points, had a great run there. He really did run well. He was near the front the entire race. He's having another solid run here. Some of the slower cars. Let's find Luke Walker back here. Now he's in 25th. He actually just ran his fastest lap at the race. <laughs> Dylan Young and Ryan Acosta going at it for second. And Dylan Young will lose out on that, and he may lose out on third place as Aaron Williams passes him. Great run so far for car 24. Looking for. Uh, two consecutive top fives. Next time by, we will have eight laps to go. See if Ryan Acosta can chase down Mark Edwards and pass him. Maybe we'll see these guys back here. Look at Michael Walton now. He's become a player in this race. He is fifth. Sixth is Ogo, then Ospina. Silver Fox, Carter Keselowski, and Zachary Brown. Top 10. Let's see the fast slap. Oh, there's Acosta going for the lead. Fast slap of the race actually has been run by Austin Ogo. As Acosta goes, takes the lead, and Aaron Williams takes second. Here's Ospina. I think just passed Austin Ogo. I think that the 29 has gotten significant significantly slower after he made contact with the wall. And he has lost a few spots to prove it. Top five have pulled away now. Great run for all these guys. Actually, they haven't really pulled away. I mean, these guys back here are still, still in contention. Aaron Williams, car 24, looking to pass Ryan Acosta and take the lead. Coming to seven laps to go here at Papyrus. And there is a, there's another, this is going to be another spot lost here, it looks like for Austin Ogo, and it's going to be James Silverfox to pass him. Maybe Carter Keselowski could have a move here. Oh, almost gets in the back of him. That was close. Keselowski ran his fastest lap of the race last time by. So did Michael Walton. And Mark Edwards has taken the lead again. There's that 24 car Aaron Williams running a great race. Ospina in sixth. Another good race for car 17. Ospina has qualified this season. Ospina has qualified in the top 10 every time. I can't exactly remember the positions they've qualified in, but I know they has qualified in the top 10 every time. 
Michael Walton pushing Dylan Young. Can't get him there. Now this is a four car pack behind the two leaders. Aaron Williams trying to pass Mark Edwards is, and there is uh, Dylan Young going for third. Silver Fox passing Ospina, maybe passing Acosta. And there's Carter Keselowski, is, uh, there's Austin Ogre, He's, he lost to another spot. This time it's Zachary Brown. Here comes Aaron Williams, he's trying to get there, can't get, get him there. With six to go, here comes Michael Walton. Ooh, Dylan Young on the outside wall. We saw how that slowed down Austin Ogo. See if it slows, yeah, look at that 27. Look at the left side of that car now. J James Silver Fox has become a player in this race. He's in fourth. Silver Fox looking to get himself back up near the top of the standings after a, f uh, after a wild ride at Rockingham and a wild free fall from first to 11th. Michael Walton also uh, got crashed at uh, Rockingham. Here comes Aaron Williams looking for the lead and look at the run that Walton gets into turn one in that 26. He's right there. Oh, he turns Mark Edwards. Oh boy, this is cl great racing near the front of the field and there is that 08 car and the 36 of Acosta looking to get back near the front. Michael Walton looking for second. We'll see if he can get there. Ooh, Silver Fox loses time. And Acosta takes fourth spot back. Ooh, Aaron Williams in the wall a little bit. Didn't make very hard contact. Oh, yeah, Dylan Young is definitely getting uh, slower in that 27. Tough break for Dylan Young. He was really having a great run. Here's Austin Ogo back here, by the way. Way near the, yeah, I mean, this isn't anywhere near as, yeah, I think he's actually got more damage. If I'm not mistaken, looking at this 29 car, I think he's got more damage, in fact. Mark Edwards is still holding on to that lead. Coming to four laps to go, and we have a new player, and it's car 26, Michael Walton. And there is Ryan Acosta. He's been running well all day, and now he's back to the front. And now, as Walton passes Edwards, here comes Acosta. And the, here comes the pack. Aaron Williams, James Silverfox, Diego Ospina, Carter Keselowski, and maybe Zachary Brown. Here comes Silverfox in that 08 car. Here we go, side by side for the lead. This is Walton and Acosta. Now Mark Edwards is going to try to hold up these guys, coming to three laps to go. That's a corner right there where the outside's the preferred line, and you, and you saw Aaron Williams just lost, lost a lot of time right there. And there's Dylan Young and uh, Brandon Bain. We haven't talked about the 21 car much today. Here he is up near the front. These guys go too hard. We saw Aaron Williams almost wrecking Mark Edwards out of the lead in turn one before. Definitely don't want to do that. Edwards was able to save it, and here he is up in second. Acosta up the track big time there. Here comes Ospina. Who was that? Jake Smith. Oh, yeah, they're running up on these two. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, wow. I thought that was the same corner, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Michael Walton with the lead in that number 26. Costa's actually lost a lot of positions. How about a speed up in third now? And then Keselowski uh, is in fourth. Is these guys back here. Dylan Young's hit the wall again, I think. He's lost some spots. Brandon Bain is actually in ninth now. And now in tenth is Arnold Columbia. Haven't talked about car 71 much either. Two laps to go. Can Michael Walton hold off Mark Edwards? Here he comes again. 
And look at Ospina with Carter Keselowski. That 49 car deserved the win at Rockingham more than anyone. Here he is, up near the front. And he passes Michael Walton behind Mark Edwards. Zachary Brown in the 82 car. Look how far he's come. He's up racing for the win as well. Ooh, look at that 85 car. Up the track a little bit here comes Carter Keselowski. There's Ryan Acosta. He's still in this thing. Ooh, look at this. I tell you what, Carter Keselowski does not want to finish second after how well he ran at Rockingham and didn't get the win. Down to the final corner. And we will hit the bell lap as we cross the line. And Ryan Acosta gets a big run through that corner in car number 36. Here he comes. And he's not getting anywhere like that. White flag. Can Keselowski try to somehow get by this 85 car? These are the two pole sitters from the last two races. Edwards won the pole today and Keselowski won the pole at Rockingham. Everything looks good through the field and it's going to be down to these two. Can Edwards hold him off? Oh boy, Keselowski made that move a little too late in the first corner. Oh, we better. Oh, and he's in the wall. Acosta will take second, and Mark Edwards is pulling away now. And Keselowski. Oh, tough break for Carter. I don't think Acosta's going to get enough of a run, but we'll see. Here, here we go. Through the final corner, Mark Edwards. Car number 85 comes in third in the points. If he wins this thing, he'll definitely take the points lead. Looks like he's going to get him here. I don't see Acosta making a run. Mark Edwards comes off and turn the final corner and will win it at Papyrus. There's your winner right there, Mark Edwards. Another great run for Ospina in that 17 car. He ran really well today. All right, so let's see our result. Sorry, guys, I think my fraps crashed right there. That took a little while. Oh, well, uh, Mark Edwards wins. Ryan Acosta, great run for car 36, finishes second. As you look through the rest of the results, another top five for Diego Ospina. Great rebound so far for Ospina after the first uh, two races. He's won and has a, f uh, a fifth place finish here. Zachary Brown, another good finish for him. As we go through the field here. Corey Williams, I didn't see him retire from the race. And uh, two wrecks today, and uh, they were pretty big wrecks. Um, and took out all these guys. And uh, Luke Walker will finish 24th. And I would definitely say Mark Edwards is going to leave here with the points lead. He's, ran, he's run really well in that 85 car um, all season long so far. And now as we enter race five, uh, Edwards will enter there with the points lead for sure. So yeah, so that's the scoop so far, and uh, we'll see you next time.